everyone, this is Derek from Classic Gamer. Beautiful day today. Hope you're enjoying the day. I'm enjoying the day, partly because it's beautiful, partly because you guys continue to send us weird crap. Look at all this weird crap that every day we get this stuff in the mail here, here at Classic Gamer from all of you guys. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know, I don't know what half this stuff is. Look, what is this? Know, what's Michael? That's a great question. What the heck is this crap? But I'll tell you what, today we got something pretty special. Today we got something that it might be the weirdest thing that we've gotten in the mail in a while. And surprisingly, it's also one of the most fun. Uh, this is, I mean, I don't even really know what to call it. It says zap at the top. Um, it says something different when you start it up. You hold it in your hand. But I, you know what? There's a lot of weird stuff going on here. I don't really know what to call it. Um, I guess we'll call it the zap handheld. I guess? I don't know, wait till you guys see this thing, this thing's weird. Now this thing was sent to us by our friend Chad from Spring Lake, North Carolina. And uh, he sent a little note with us, he said that uh, it's been in his collection for a while, uh, but he couldn't find much information on it at all. There didn't seem to be much history attached to this thing. Uh, and I have to concur, you know, ever since we got this, I've been looking stuff up on the internet and I can't find anything. Uh, confirming that this thing ever existed at all. In fact, the only information seems to be on the back on this sticker, which is another funny thing because you look at it and uh, you know it looks like it looks like one of those LCD handhelds from the 80s, right? From the pre-Game Boy era. Back when you could buy stuff like that, you know, at your department store, there were all kind of different varieties, usually knockoffs of popular console games and arcade games at the time. Um, you know, pre-Game Boy, that was handheld gaming, and that's what this looks like, right? I mean, it looks like that bread with a Wii, re Wii remote nunchuck. But the point is, <laughs> that's what it looks like. But then you read the back, and uh, let's focus in on that. As you can see, the year. This thing came out in 1998. That, that we had the Game Boy. We had, the, they were aware of the Game Boy over at MGA Entertainment, and they still made this. That's why I gotta tell you, I don't think this is a mere video game thing. I, I think this is something Far more sinister. And when we start it up, you'll see part of the reason why. Alright, somebody should get out some holy water. Or maybe they should read a read a dusty book that says something about incantations. I don't know. We should be doing something because we're about to turn on Zap. Here we go. And you turn it on and then there's a guy holding a knife or something. And there's, ah, look at that. But then it says tact tracer. Then it goes back to the guy with the knife. Then it gets dark. Then it says tact tracer. It never says zap! I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it's terrifying! Who is tacked and why is why is he tracing? So we might as well hit enter and see what okay, you hit enter, then it says tacked tracer, and then there you can you can hear it. Hear the audio? Yeah, it's pretty great. So there's start and then there's best. And I don't I don't really know what best means. I'm assuming you know, you'd think it would mean best score, but with something this obviously sinister that causes such peril, I'm not exactly sure that's the case. So we're gonna play it safe and we're gonna hit start. Level one! So you start it up and you have no idea what, what's gonna happen, but all of a sudden, ready, set, go, there's a guy waving his, the knife at you! But then it just starts and it's just a maze. Look at this, this is ridiculous. So there's all this uncomfortable buildup, and then you turn it on, and you're basically, this is Hamster Pixel, the video game. This is a video game about a hamster who's turned into a pixel. By, by probably by Zap itself. Probably, you know, this this blue thing is actually some kind of, like I said, some kind of, some kind of demon tool. And it turned the hamster into a pixel for some reason. And now this hamster's trying to escape this hamster city of tubes. And it's trying to, trying to save the world from the, the demon, the hamster demon guy. And that's another thing about this game. Boy, you know, we were passing this around, we we're having some fun with it, uh, you know, even though it was at the same time, it's kind of making us all very uncomfortable. We had to, you know, when we left at the end of the day, we made sure we locked it in a, in a, in some sort of lock box. We threw it outside so it was hovering in space. We figured that was probably the safest place for it. We didn't want it to be in the office overnight because, you know, we are hovering in space and it's pretty dangerous to have something that causes such peril just hanging around. But the point is, you know, we we're playing it, we were having a good time, but then we, then we saw what happens when you die. It is the most gruesome, terrifying thing. Watch this, I'm gonna die on purpose. Watch what happens.
So the whole thing starts vibrating violently. There's screams coming out of the distance. It's absolutely terrifying. Listen to this. As far as how it plays, uh, you know, it is just a maze thing. You move the, the, the pixel, you know, you've got your D-pad here, you know, you've got the four directions that you can move this thing. But, as I mentioned earlier, the D-pad also has diagonals, that way you can move on the diagonals. But the damn pixel, it moves so fast that, you know, moving on the diagonals is very, very dangerous. This is, this is a very dangerous game. You make a record, name. See, I don't know if I want to put my name in here. Like, what, like, yeah, yeah, it asks for your name, but then what is it doing with that information? That's what I want to know. Fortunately, it only has four characters, so that's as far as we're going to get. Dairy. All right, this feels different from the first level, so there are levels, I guess? Oh, no, now it's getting gimmicky. There's a bet. There's a... Oh, no, there's a magnet pulling me toward the wall. Holy Jesus. Well, this game's pretty advanced for something that looks like a TV remote. So, I mean, I, I wish I had more substantive stuff to say about this without, you know, making up stories about the end of the world and about evil possessed TV remotes, but really, that's all I got. This was sent to us by Chad. Although maybe Chad, is that your real name, Chad? Or was that like, is that cover? But you were the, the Zap, the Zap people, named you Chad because there's only four characters and it fits in here. Oh, maybe, maybe the game changes you into a pixelated guy with four character name. What? The, the Chad, Chad. Oh, wait a minute. M, A, R, K. Oh, oh Jesus, I need to escape. All right, listen, everybody just stay calm. Everybody just stay calm, keep their composure. Point is, I have to go. Cause it's gonna be game over for me if I don't I don't get out of here. Just a typical just a typical day here at Classic Game Room. I have to escape with my life on the line. You know what? That explains the GameCom beatings. The beatings will not continue, because I will escape. Thanks to thanks to Chad the Zap the Zap the Zap guy for being brainwashed enough to try to brainwash me. But obviously, I'm a cut above. I'm above your games. I'm in on your game, Chad. I'm gonna turn this off too. Get out of here, Zap! Win! I've won the game! What did I win? Is it gonna blow up or something? What's going on here? Oh, my soul's starting to feel funny. 